Hey peeps, welcome back to Snail TV. Uh, we are still on the half a booster. Um, things are looking pretty sweet. I'm just we're gonna get this um, uh, rear mounted radiator all done and all set up. So I've got a couple of things all set out. Uh, come have a look at what I've uh, yeah, come up with so far. All right peeps, so place is a bit of a mess at the moment. As I said, I just um, uh, made up a couple of things and got a couple of things ready. Uh, what I've done is got a couple of tubes already and um just a couple old m6s that i've got i've had to drill out the center just to get to a, uh, a little bit bigger so then the actual center of the bolt will go what i'm going to do is weld a washer on one side and there you go that's where you end up putting um the m6 straight through and uh, that's your actual uh, support bracket and then something will actually get welded to that all right neatest way to do it um, also, I've uh, made up um, the rear bar. Um, I didn't actually have anything like the booster, so I've just made up something. So I haven't actually got it welded on. I've just got a, the two ends welded and a single bar in the center. Um, just got it uh, sleeved on the inside there where it meets. And um, yeah, all good. So everything um, come up really nice. I've got to weld that on as well first, but um, yeah getting a couple other things sorted out as well so um yeah no time wasted guys let's um weld these washers on the end i'm just going to mig everything um a little bit easier as i said anything mild still um you got to really clean it up to tick it so easier just to mig it and clean it up around the outside um so yeah four of them all four all four washers welded onto it uh we'll then um screw them to uh the radiator and then we can um mount the radiator up where we want it and then um, once these are on the end like that, we can um, obviously have something there to weld to. All right, so let's get to it. Um, and uh, yeah, let's get this radiator sorted. Let's do it.
right guys, there we go. Um, yeah, just had to obviously um, weld a couple of pieces together and whatnot. I'll clean all them up, that'd be no biggie. Um, just single bars straight off of um, the end bar there, that's what I had to make up. Um, so that's come up well, uh, got enough clearance under there for the disc rotor. So that's good. And yeah, everything else seems right. So um, obviously outlet there is gonna go to that one there. And um, on the other side, on the bottom of that water pump. So really happy with that. Uh, really at the moment now, um, I reckon uh, we're pretty much up to, gonna wire this thing up pretty much. Um, that's what I'm up to. I really wanna get this thing wired up and actually, um, yeah, hopefully we can kick it over and start it up, so. I do need to go get a box so I can make that PDM up um, for the auxiliaries. Um, yeah, uh, we'll see what else we've got. Um, and uh, obviously mounting the ECU. So uh, if we can mount the ECU this side or the other side as we did say, if we can. Um, I was really trying to just, uh, if we can match the other side. So the other side is on the actual left hand side with the battery. If we could do that, obviously, because fuel pump's on this side, I would like the battery on the other side. Um, just to keep the power away from uh, the fuel. So yeah, it's come up really well. Uh, radiator is pretty much straight in the center. Uh, two bars just to hold it like that. It's, yeah, it's fine. Not doing anything. Um, still, seat's still removable. And uh, yeah, everything's still really go. So we'll get some, uh, we'll get the ECU out and we'll make something up and we should see what we can actually, um, the only thing I just need it sort of re recessed because this rider here is an also if it's a passenger is going to be hitting their legs um, on it and they don't really get damaged. So we'll see where exactly we can actually put it. Let's have a look. All right, so I've come up with a pretty good idea on a uh, the PDM that I want to make. Um, so I sort of need to get a box exactly like uh, the one I have on the Booster. It's just a box, open box, um, and you put everything inside and it's just sealed. Um, and I just put my relays all in that and um, all the wiring, all the messy wiring in that. Um, obviously still neat, uh, but obviously you don't see it from the outside, that's all. Uh, it's just a one big power going in, everything gets wired up. Um, you start, like all your auxiliaries, uh, your ignition and your starter, everything's all into that. Um, so what I was thinking was, is um, an old, um, I have this old ECU from a, um, I know a K series or something like that. Um, I tried to sell it, no one really wants to buy it, so it's just a standard ECU. Um, so what I was thinking was um, doing that, doing that, and then actually putting the relays inside um, this box. Uh, the reason why, I'll have a spare, I don't need that one, but I'll have that as a spare. Um, because you always add things on um, and then that can go on top now we do have a big opening at the front here um, luckily this is actually aluminium the base is so all I was thinking about was just getting a little bit of alley and um, actually we're ticking it up um, and obviously then we'll just drill a hole in the side and I'll have all the wires coming out the other side I was going to do a plug um, I do have some nice plugs, but sort of just very hard work just to do something so um, so basic. So uh, I did it on the booster. It's really easy. There's no point doing a plug. Um, you just spend sort of another, you know, another three to four hours on wiring where I don't really want to do that. It's sort of, it works the other way. So it it's, it's you know, I'll keep it that way. Um, I would do... I would do the plug and that all that if I actually had a um, you know once I um, start getting actual proper PDMs, um, they're very expensive though. There's no point of doing that for something like this. Um, and yeah, so I was just thinking I'll just weld that front up, um, mount those relays in there, and obviously uh, yeah, just drill a hole in the front. Uh, pretty easy, and have all the wires coming out of the front like the other one. The only reason why um, having all the wires at the front is because there is, um, you either do that or you put a bolt going through, uh, which then it's actually sealed. But if I had a plastic, had it out of plastic, um, I could do that, but this one's not. So easy just to do it like this, um, and it'll work like that. So that'll be fine. I'm really happy with this. Uh, and yeah, so, I'll just, so just for now is I'll take these out 
Um, I'll screw this lid back on. Screw that lid back on. Um, we know exactly now how big the PDM is going to be. Uh, we have the ECU. Let's go back over to the half a booster. Uh, let's make up a panel. Let's try to fit these two somewhere. Um, and uh, yeah, we can actually get just so um, the because the world is over there at the moment. Um, might as well do it over there quickly. Make up a couple of brackets just to suit this. Um, and then um, yeah, I can get get stuck into this PDM. All right, peeps. I quickly have knocked up a uh, couple of things for the ECU and the PDM. Um, I have got them on the outside. Just my doggy. So come past. Um, yeah, so I have got them on the outside only because uh, easier for the wiring. Uh, battery is going to go right there. I've measured the same battery as the Bosa. Uh, that will go there. Um, I've got. Uh... So yeah, the battery will go there. And yeah, all the wiring will come up, um, conduit on here, so and then it'll come up to here. So that's what I sort of planned it out. But um, the driver's legs will be coming out the front. Uh, the rear legs, I'm gonna have to actually make something up. I'm gonna wait till I get the chain there because uh, I'm just not um, liking if I take you know, like a little one on, like my son or something. I reckon because the chain is gonna be right here. I'm um, not going to like that at all, so uh, I'll wait till I get the chain, I'll put my little dude on here and I'll make some sort of uh, guard up on both sides, um, just so then, yeah, and a, like a little mini platform that they can actually put their legs on the on the rear there. Uh, try to make it as comfortable as possible for small and big people. Um, obviously I'm going to take, you know, and take a mate or so on there as well. Um, yeah, as I said, I do like this one because it is going to be a two-seater. So that's what we're up to so far. So bracketry, that's what we've done. It is just a um, bar and a bar down there. Um, only just text screw for now, guys. There will be nut inserts and they will be bolted later. Um, this one here is just a bit of a bend on a bit of flat bar as well um, coming down. And same thing for the actually on the frame there. So they'll be all nut certs as well. Uh, let's get um, this thing here, this bad boy on the front welded. Um, let's get the PDM started. And then when, uh, yeah, we've done that, we can actually start uh, actually wiring it up. Um, yeah, so that's gonna keep me busy for hours. So, you know, take probably about another, probably about four or five hours sort of thing on wiring this thing up. So, uh, yeah, let's get to it. All right, peeps. So I've um, quickly welded up the front of it so now it's actually a uh, full box and i've actually uh drilled out the three holes at the front all right guys so far we've um yeah just set them all up we've uh bolted them through the bottom just like that uh it was the easiest way to do it uh and what i'm just trying to do is just trying to sort them all out which ones need the thicker wires and which one will need the smaller wires um obviously these things are going to have about 40 amps going through them so they need a uh, yeah heavy amount of current going through there, so something decent, so a thick, actual, decent thick wire, and yeah, just so I'm just getting all my powers all sorted out first, and then um, we'll go to negatives, and then we'll go to the switchings, and obviously then the outputs. All right, so I'll keep this updated. I won't film at all because it's just so fiddly. Um, it's just so so hard to to do. I might actually film a little bit for you, but um, yeah, it's just yeah very time consuming. That's all. All right, let's get a little bit more done. All right, guys. So I've um, went to J Car and quickly got a uh, start relay um, that fits in there really nice. Um, I've got the rest of them all wired up, all just the power. So I'm going to be using a negative switching, which means I do not need a negative going to these. They all get activated by a negative. All right, so um, yeah, so it's pretty much just a big power wire that goes to all of them. Um, obviously on two pins of the relays. Uh, yeah, sorry about the, the loudness. It's actually pouring down with the rain outside. Um, and then... Uh, yeah, so then we've got a, um, a switching, a negative switching, which goes on another pin, and then uh, the outs are off the other pin. Uh, so simple. These are pretty much all that you see inside of a PDM. Obviously, they're a lot smaller. Um, and obviously they're a, a solid state, the whole things are. So 
as I said, after we get uh, that's what I said, the top on, guys. All right. You're not even going to know anything is in there. All right, like that. So that's what I like to do is um, obviously you still keep it kind of neat in there, peeps. It's a lot easier to trace out a wire that's not happening. Something's wrong. Um, I do like using uh, fuse relays. Then I don't have to have an external um, a fuse block. So yeah, these ones are just like that. Um, what I've done, because I didn't have any more of the actual um, the holders, is pretty much just slid a, I'll just show you. Just cut down a, a the head of the bolt and like that. And bolt it through. And the relay slid over them. All right, so now we can actually put this on the actual um, on the actual quad, um, and then we can actually get our uh, ins and outs as well. So I do like keeping the ins off one and the outs off of another. That then then you can trace back of what's actually going on. Um, uh, just keep everything you know nice and neat. So straight to this is going to go straight to the bat battery, guys. It's the whole actual can is going to be earthed on the actual chassis. So if I do need later on, if I do need a um, an earth terminal in here, I can actually just earth to one of these points that are in here. Um, not sure if I need it later on, I don't know yet. Uh, but as I said, because they are actually negative here, um, uh, sorry, the actual negative switching, you do not need negatives going in here. Um, I was gonna just wire them up as a normal relay, uh, the positive switching, but then I thought just to keep the wiring down, we don't have to have a negative going in here. So yeah, uh, pretty um, pretty happy how it's sorted out. We'll get all the fuses all sorted out. I've only just got all 30s in there at the moment. Um, I would get some um, some 20s, 30s, whatever it needs. So, so for the fuel pump, obviously a lot smaller. Sure, you need a um, a 40 amp on the on the fuel pump. Uh, 30, sorry, on the fuel pump. Uh, for the fan, I'm hoping only a 30 or something like that. So and then um, these up and downs, we'll probably just need the 40s. All right, so let's get it back on. Um, and uh, yeah, let's get it wired up. All right, peeps, uh, pretty busy day of um, yeah, doing some wiring on this thing. Um, as you can see, we've got most of the stuff happening, so uh, all coil packs are all done, um, injectors are all done, um, crank position sensor. Uh, this one does not have a cam position sensor, so it will be running in batch mode, which is fine. Uh, yeah, we've got most of everything else done, um, shortened up the uh cable for the ECU and um, yeah we've done everything like uh, put everything ready to go there so um, I've got all the sensors all just twisted ready to go coolant temp is wired up um, just got to do yeah throttle position and um, yeah a couple of the sensors but yeah so we've done yeah quite a bit Hello, buddy. as you can see there guys so yeah really happy with how it's coming out so far obviously it's a bit of a mess still but um, yeah, looking pretty good. All right, peeps. Um, yeah, I'll finish off the video now. As I said, it's just we're pretty much wiring this thing up. And um, yeah, this stuff's pretty boring to watch. Um, and not really much else. It's just sitting there for just, yeah, hours on end, um, wiring things up and uh, making things as neat as possible. Um, yeah, so I'll get this most of it done as I can. Um, I'll have to wait for a couple of sensors to come. I do have one or two here that I can hook up um, for like the oil pressure. Um, and uh, yeah, it's got to suss out the throttle position sensor. Um, I do have the original here, but because this actually ran a um, uh, an electric throttle, um, I need to just suss out what I can actually um, yeah use as a throttle position sensor now. So that's all I can suss out though. That's nothing for you guys to worry about. Um, I'll suss that out, and uh, yeah, we'll keep going. So. I'm pretty happy, pretty wrapped with how everything else went. Um, um, using that PDM, uh, the ECU as the PDM, and uh, yeah, yeah, we're ready to um, start it up very soon. So I'll just need a couple more things to go. Um, I'll need to take off the throttle body just to weld up a couple of holes um, and a couple of vacuum lines and whatnot. Um, but I'm really happy with how it's turned out. Um, yeah, and I need to put power to a couple of other things and whatnot. So yeah, pretty happy with how everything's there all, all going so far 
so yeah thanks very much for subscribing guys and um keep on it um think big things are happening very very soon so please keep watch um yeah i am um, pretty ho hopefully you guys are gonna like this this stuff as much as me coming up and uh yeah we'll uh, see you on next video see you peeps